What I'm going to cover in this tutorial is wikis in SharePoint Online. So the first thing to realize is that by default in our team site there is no wiki installed. So what we need to do is we need to add that uh, app to our team site. To do that we go to site contents and we select added app. So when we do that we'll see a list of all the apps that are available to us, both the standard ones and any ones that have been added by the SharePoint uh, from the SharePoint uh, store. We'll notice here that we have an option called Wiki Page Library. So I'm going to select that. It's going to now prompt me um, for a, uh, a name. I can call this anything I want. In this case I'll just keep it simple and call it Wiki. And it will now create that uh, Wiki. You'll see that the option is now listed um, as an app and you'll also notice that it appears under the recent menu here. So if I select that, that will take me to my wiki. And basically what a wiki is, is a number of um, internet or HTML pages that allow you to edit and update and insert information without having to have any additional options on your desktop. So what we've got here is we've placed in our wiki, you'll see that we are in a home page. Now in the top left here we can select page and we can then go straight into this and we can then start editing the page. Now we can for example uh, select the text and when we do that you'll see that the ribbon becomes available. We can then bold, we can select any of the font colors. So anything that's available to us we can then change um, those options. You'll notice that I can then go also to insert and I can insert things like a table, pictures, video and audio, links. I can actually insert a file as well as well as a number of web parts. Now when that's finished I can simply go save and that will then update the page for me. So all I've needed to do is work with it in a browser. So that means I can quickly and easily capture information and store it within somewhere in SharePoint that is uh, available to everybody and is also indexed and updated. Now the other thing we'll notice here is that our wiki page actually contains a link. So here we've got a link. So what we can do there is we put the document into uh, this page into edit mode again. You'll see that that link basically is syntax by having square brackets around it. Now what I can do is, the great thing about a wiki is if I want to, for example, have a new page that is linked from this original page, I simply put in two square brackets and what it will do, it will then load a list of pages that already exist in my wiki. Now because this is new, we only have two pages, what this home page and also how to use this document library. So we'll put that in, close the square brackets and then save this page again. Now when we do we'll notice that the link how to use this library has appeared. If we click, that, if we click on that this will now take us to our second page. So that's how easy it is to link documents in a wiki. But the whole idea with a wiki is we want it to be able to grow and to add additional information. So part of that requires us to add new pages. So again what we can do this quickly and easy we just go into our original document and what we can do is we go to the location that we want the new page link to appear, double square brackets again, and instead of selecting uh, one of the pages that already exists, we can simply type in the name of the new page that we wish to create, even though it doesn't exist as yet. So let's just save that and see what happens. So then what happens is when we have a look at it, you'll see um, that there is a link there, but you'll notice that the hyperlink has a dotted line underneath it. So what that indicates is that the page doesn't as yet exist. So the first time someone goes in there and selects that option, it will then say, OK, I need to create this page. It does not exist. Do you want to create it? So in this case, yes, I do want to create it. That will then add the page to my document uh, wiki library automatically and throw me into edit mode. So again I can add um, a new page here, I can then uh, go in here and obviously change the fonts as we did before, full edit functionality is available here so let's make this a heading and maybe make this a bit bigger so we can see it and then maybe just put some text in here and again save that. So quick and easy we can create pages and now that these are already linked so again nice and easy to do that. Now as we do that and work with our wiki you'll see on the left hand side here you'll notice that it has a list of updated pages so we've obviously worked on home, how to use this library and the new page that we've created. So this allows us to navigate quickly up and down our wiki as required.
Now, as I mentioned, a wiki is basically a library of um, HTML pages. So, again, we can view this. If we go to page, again, what you'll see here is it brings up the ribbon menu, but one of the options to the right here under page library is view all pages. So, when we select that, we'll be taken to what looks like very much just a list of documents. So very similar to our document library, but as you note by the Internet Explorer icon, these are actually HTML pages. So again, we can go in and create a new page, we can upload a page, we can sort them, we can view them, we can do all the things we normally do with uh, document libraries, so very much the same. Again, we've got the familiar um, ellipse, so we can go in here, we can open, we can go to the second ellipse, and we can again edit the properties, view the properties, look at the version history if we want, and check in and check out. So it's really that simple to work with documents in a wiki. So remember that by default what happens is, is if we have a document in our wiki library called home, when we navigate to that wiki, that is the page that will be displayed. So at the moment it's displaying this home page. But for example, if I now go in and delete this page, and so now there is no longer a page called home, what happens is, is now when we navigate to wiki, that will just show us a list of documents. Okay, so again, to get that back so the home page is there, the easiest way to do it is to go to the recycle bin. We go to site contents, recycle bin, and then simply select the home page and restore that selection. That will now put it back into the original location. And now our wiki does have a home page. Now when we select it, we will be returned to view that home page. So again, most times a team site does not include a wiki. You need to go into site contents and add the app. Once you do that, you will then get a wiki library, which is basically a library of HTML pages. You can go in easily and quickly and edit these pages simply by placing them in edit mode, updating them, um, adding any formatting that you wish, links, inserting additional items. Once you've saved that, you can also then start linking them together. So think of a wiki as a great way to capture knowledge. It makes fantastic usage as a knowledge base. Again, the big thing about wikis is you don't need any additional tools except a browser to be able to enter information into it. So with that, thank you very much for watching.